Hi. an accident. You, you were hit by a car. I feel fine. Good. <laughs> Take a go. Um, the accident was, uh, it was a while ago. Craig, how long have I been here? The doctor said that it's best not to. Craig. A year. Just over. That's not funny. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get you home soon, I promise. And you know, we're going to be a family. All three of us. You, me, and Heidi, it's a miracle she survived the accident. <laughs> Helen, Helen, it's okay. Helen, <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Congratulations. You're one of only three women in recorded history to have successfully given birth while in a coma. When can I go home? Soon. You'll have to continue with your rehabilitation. Your legs will need to get their memory back too. I'll leave you two to get acquainted. Thank you. Oh. Hi, dear. This is Mummy. Mummy, this is Heidi. You go to Mama. Ah, oh, that's a good girl. Yeah. That's it. No, 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 it's okay. You stay with Mama. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just being fussy. You're just being a fuss pot. How's that feel? Fine. Yeah? Good. Nice rotation. Fantastic. Uh, Helen Tullett? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> My interruption. Um, Detective Shepard. Is it okay if I speak to Mrs Tullett in private? Uh, yeah. Sure. Mrs. Tullett. Please, call me Helen. Helen. Um, I've been given the job of just wrapping up your father's case. In cases like this, you know, when there's no history of depression or mental illness, we look for a kind of stressor. You know what that might have been? I wish I knew. An eyewitness reported seeing you running from the building in a state of distress. Why would I have done that? Look, I've got little left to do here, just crossing T's and dotting I's. And the coroner's already ruled suicide. But since you're the one and only witness, I have to ask you, what was your relationship like with your father? He raised me by himself. We were close. OK, look. If you're ever able to recall anything, then please give me a call.
beautiful, isn't she? Don't they say all babies are beautiful? Yeah, only to the parents of ugly babies. What does she like? She's a baby, you know? She likes to eat, sleep, cry and poop. Listen, um... I didn't know how to tell you this, but, um... Uh, I had to sell the house. Taking care of Heidi and you... I, I couldn't keep up with the repayments. We have savings? We had savings. So we have nothing? I'm sorry. I, I did everything I could. Oh, God, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. So, where is home now? <laughs> sorry, no, no, I, I can't. Where else are we gonna go, Helen? He left it to us. It doesn't make it okay. It won't be forever. It's not just us anymore. Thanks. That's OK. I'm just going to go and pop Heidi down. OK. Okay. I'll give you the tour. You forget I was born here. Dad's study. Yeah, I thought you could give it new purpose, new life. Uh, everything's here, all of your work, just waiting for whenever you're ready. I was looking forward to getting back to my studio. This way, you can be at home with Heidi all the time, right? I missed you. You didn't even know I was gone. I know. But still. Are you sure? What's your secret? No secret, just be mummy-ish. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Yummy. <coughs> Come on, Heidi. Helen. Come on, Heidi. Helen. Eat it, eat it. Helen. <coughs> she just gets cranky. I'll put her down. Come on. Something wrong? I just wonder how he went from writing a list to buy bread to... I'll, I'll throw it out. No, 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 don't. Leave it. Come on, go, mummy. Go, mummy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 
clap, 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 clap. Well done, Mummy. Clap, clap, clap. Come on, Mummy. Is that how much you do so well? You're doing brilliantly. You're doing great. Come on, Mummy. Yes. down and it down that's good yeah yes hi you've reached robert please leave a message after the beep robert it's frank i'm back it'd be great to catch up Who was it? I hope you don't mind. Uh, I think you knew my dad. I looked you up and he was desperate. Frank. Frank Menzies. And you must be... Helen. Well, you, you better come in, Helen. hoping that we might one day meet. <laughs> there we are. Thank you. Ah. Ah. I can see the family resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your father from years ago. We were both in the church. But uh, over the years we uh, drifted apart. To be honest, I, I read about him in the, the newspaper, but I hadn't seen him in years, despite my efforts. And then when I read about the daughter, <laughs> I said, I wonder how many more secrets he's keeping. And of course, I couldn't wait to meet the lovely lady. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Oh, yes. Yeah, no, this isn't permanent. He said something to me the night. I need to remember what he told me before it happened. Look, I know, I know I'm practically a stranger. My opinion doesn't count for anything, but um, I think these things are best put to rest. Take it from a lonely old man that's seen his share of hurt that uh, people come and go in and out of your life. Sometimes you have to say it. Sometimes you don't. Um. I, uh, I... To your own family? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, sorry. Get your tissue. There you go. 
again. Oh. Where were you? Oh. Helen, I'm Trisha. I'm your health visitor. Is there a problem? Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm just here for your 12.30 appointment. Yeah, you forgot. It's all fine. Anyway, let's get this little one Ooh, checked out. She been getting overexcited at the park? Oh my god. It's okay, and the kids bump into things all the time. It'd be odd if I saw a baby who didn't have a few scrapes and bruises. Helen, you need to keep an eye on her all the time. I do. Then how did she get these bruises? Wait, what do you really think caused these bruises? Like I said... I know what you said. I want to know what you think. I've no reason to think anything other than the obvious explanation. She took a tumble the moment you turned your back. And I'm not sure why you would think otherwise either. Okay? Mr. <laughs> Once upon a time, you were the little girl across the hall, weren't you? Yes, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> now look at you, a mother. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Uh, um, it's just not where I expected it to be. She seems to like you. You want to hold her? Yes, I'd love to. Come here. Hey, pretty girl. Hey. Oh, mm -hmm. Maybe you can just help her put things to bed. Greg? Hi. You know, I'm going to see if anyone needs a drink. Uh, thank you so much for coming, Father Munro. Thank you, Greg. Helen, I, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I was to hear about what happened to your father. Thank you. We miss you down at the church. I hope you take some comfort in knowing that he is in a better place. Do I know that? Faith is that gray area where the heart and the mind meets. If there is ever anything I can do, yeah. You can tell me if you ever mentioned why he might kill himself. I only wish he had. If you ever need some guidance, you know where to find me. Wait to mommy. <laughs> Helen, you have a visitor? Frank, you came. Yeah, hope I'm not intruding. I wouldn't have invited you if I didn't want you here. Frank's a friend of my dad's. Oh, uh, here's a for you. Thank you. Oh, they're lovely. I'll, uh, I'll put those in some water. So no crutches, eh? Yeah, getting there. You're looking well. Helen, I, I can't find a bars. Oh, um, I'll be right back. What are you doing? 
But tell me, bringing that man here has nothing to do with bringing out the past. Thanks for the party, Greg. She's down, she's out, so it's fine. What do you do, Frank? Take it easy. Relax. Mostly spend time with my thoughts. I'm retired then? Yeah. 35 years as a travelling salesman. Oh, sounds interesting. No. Yeah. Boring as hell. But you find ways to make it exciting. Have you got any kids? Yeah. A daughter. So tell me, any uh, teenage years as bad as everyone says? I'm afraid I didn't get to find out. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to. Um... It's OK. I hope you realise how lucky you are. Here we go. Just a little. Oh, yummy. Oh, yes, delicious. Thank you. Do you want a bit more? Good morning. Yeah, uh, you're half right. No. You know, there's a thing called decaf. Uh, I need to go out of town for a conference. I thought you said you hated this new job. I do, but I can't turn down the overtime. So you're leaving? <sighs> when will you be back? A few days. I, I can get out of it. Can you? Will you be OK? We'll be fine. Won't we, Heidi? Time for a girly catch-up. I'm really sorry. Are you sure you're going to be OK? Well, food goes in the top and poop comes out the bottom, right? <laughs> You'll be perfect. I love you. You too. OK. I love you. See you later. Bad time. <laughs> Come on. Sorry about that. Finally got her down. <sighs> got any parenting advice? Uh, looks like you're doing just fine. My advice just love her. Love her in the way that only you know how everything else fall into place. I just uh, came by to give uh, a present for the little one. Oh, that's <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. So you had a daughter? Mm. Sounds so finite, doesn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No, when you have a child, it, it changes your perspective on everything, doesn't it? No, for the first time you really have something to lose. Something to live for. Die for. How did you know? How did you know that you loved her? Well, there's never any question. But when? Did you know? Uh, the first time I looked in her eyes and I saw myself. If you could go back again, do anything different. What would it be? More time. 
I'll give everything just for one more second. Tell her I was sorry. Sorry. I wasn't the father that she needed. Too little, too late. So I'm uh, sensing a theme in your questions. Being a parent is hard. I think there's something wrong with me, Frank. Nobody's perfect. The best you can be is yourself. What's wrong? In the time you lived here, did you ever see or hear anything, I don't know, strange? Uh, like what? Did you ever notice anything weird? Uh, I'll come home. No. No, it's fine. What kind of a parent can't look after their own kid for a few days? I love you. Sort him out. 
Mrs. Tullet. How can I help you? You're going to think I'm crazy. Go on. Detective Shepard, what do you think happens when we die? <laughs> My judgment's reserved on that one. What's on your mind, Mrs. Tullet? Hypothetically, what would happen if my father was trying to remind me what he said to me that night? What exactly has happened? Nothing I can explain easily. Mrs. Tullet, I think you're confused as to what it is I actually I'm do. not confused. I'm just scared. Which is understandable with the state of things. Your health, and your baby. Spare me. Look, I'm being as polite as I can. Fuck polite! <sighs> I just need to know if you can help me or not. I can't. Fine. Robert, please leave a message. Bloody list broken. Who are you? Call me Stu. You're the psychic investigator. I'm expecting a little old lady with bees and incense. First, it was the little things. I thought it was my imagination, but no. I don't know what I believe anymore. It could possibly be SWP. Is that the Stonewall phenomenon? Hmm. And certain environments can act like a recording device, repeating an event that occurred there. Repeating, repeating, repeating. The ghost that manifests is compelled to replay a moment from its life, often their dying or their most excruciating moments. And then it is simply existing in a cycle of ongoing pain and torment. It's cheerful stuff. So what now? Well, we just ask a few questions, see if we get any answers. You ready? Now. What's your father's name? Robert. OK. Robert. We wish to communicate with Robert. <coughs> Robert, are you with us? If you are, then please give us a sign. <coughs> Robert, if you're present, but you prefer to be left alone, Please also give us a sign. Sorry, sorry, can we stop for a second? It's a bit funny. 
How funny. Show of breath. Okay. Well, spirits can sometimes impose their own feelings on a living target. Why would my father do that? Maybe it's not your father. Who else is it going to be? Do these names mean anything to you? I think they're revenants. Revenants? Hmm. Lost souls that can't get into heaven. I don't believe in heaven. But you don't believe in ghosts, neither. What do they want? Well, they're angry. These things are wrought emotion. Whatever wrong's been done to them, they won't put right. And if I just do nothing, will they go away? Uh, this is, <laughs> long as this goes on, the worse this is going to get. They have targeted you when those closest to you. <laughs> what? Oh, hello. You've lived here a long time, right? Ever since Harold Wilson was in number 10, yes. <laughs> OK, do you remember anything about the people that lived here before my dad? Uh, well, um, there was the Nolans, not the singers, obviously. Nice young couple. Um, there were the Goldings, uh, Mr Rodman, uh, was Mrs uh, Gorman, Herman Goering, I used to call her, uh, the horse. What about first names? Any first names? What's all this about? Uh, any kids? Children? No, it's not as far as I can remember. Right, bye then. It really will only be a few hours. No, it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And you're sure it's OK about the car? Oh, yes, yes. It's better fine as well to use it. It's just sitting in a pile of leaves. <sighs> Thank you so much. All right. Uh, uh, look, is, is everything all right? Everything's fine. Mr. Collins? Yes? This is going to sound weird. Bollocks. I know. And I'd be saying exactly the same thing if I was in your position. And you won't blame me if I say I don't believe you. All I want is answers. 
Surely that's what you want too. I was out every day after school and every weekend after the car went missing. Putting up posters, asking around, talking to the local kids. Nothing. It just vanished. I'll show you something. Carl was born deaf mute. He never said a word in his whole short life, but he loved to draw. Couldn't keep a blank sheet of paper lying around anywhere. What's this? All I ever got out of the kids I spoke to. Sackhead took him. Sackhead? You don't remember? It was that stupid rhyme we used to say to each other to scare ourselves. Sackhead's out your window. Sackhead's out your door. Lay your head, he'll grab you from your bed, and you'll be seen no more. Susan was only eight years old. She wanted to be a vet. I know it was such a long time ago, but... if you can tell me anything that you remember from back then, anything. The day before it happened, she came home from school and said she'd been followed by a man with no face. Well... I just thought she was telling stories. She was scared, so I made her ride her bike the next day. I'm certain the man that my Susan saw was the one that took her from me. The man with no face. I won't forget the look that detective gave me when I told her what I'd just told you. She didn't believe you. That's just it. She did believe me. Do you remember this detective's name? Can I help you? If you're Detective Burrows, you can. I haven't been a detective for some years now. But you're still Gillian Burroughs, right? As far as I'm aware. So then you can help me. I'm Helen. Helen Tullett. What's this about? The disappearances of kids, all aged between five and nine in the late 1980s. Do you remember? Take it from that look that you do. I worked out of Stonewall for 15 years. There's one child who... I only have a name, no face. Anna? I don't remember investigating the disappearance of any Anna. And none were ever found? No, we did find one body. A little girl, five years old. I've always suspected that whoever killed her took the other kids as well. Why? Same age group, same time frame, disappeared under similar circumstances. We found her in an abandoned shed, which had burnt down. Cause of death, smoke inhalation. Uh, and you don't agree? She did die of smoke inhalation. Two whole days before that shed ever caught fire. The coroner got lazy. 
ruled death by criminal negligence. I quit as soon as the case was shut down. Coming face to face with death is no way to make a living. In the whole time that you were investigating the disappearances, did you ever come across the name Sackhead? About a month after I quit, I got a phone call here in my own home. All I heard was breathing. Whoever it was never said a word. But to this day, I'm convinced that the person the other end of that line was the same person the kids called Sackhead. The same person who killed the Stoneworth kids. That case took a part of me. I had children of my own I should have been there for. You got any? Little girl. My children paid for my mistake. And that was to think I could split my time between being a mother and chasing after the dead. But I made my choice. But they were never confirmed Listen, dead. I don't need to know who you are. Whatever this means to you, you have your reasons. But the less I know, the less I'll remember. The bliss of ignorance is all I have these days. She's sleeping soundly. Mm. Yeah. Are you uh, planning to have any more? What? What do you mean? Well, brothers and sisters keep Heidi company, you know. Oh, uh, I don't know. Because I remember how lonely you seemed to be when you first moved here. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you asked me if I remembered any children living here, and for the longest time, you were the only one. The week you and your father arrived, I remember you walking up and down the hallways, days on end with your doll in your hand. You, you, were, you were such a quiet child. But I was born here. No. No, you came here when you were four. I remember that distinctly because you told me you'd been given that doll for your fourth birthday present. Did my father ever mention where we'd moved from? Oh, um, I know it began with an S. Stoneworth? Stoneworth. Did you know my father? And I mean, really know him. Well, I guess I knew him as well as anyone. Why did he lie to me? We're all of us secrets, Helen. Even the best of us. So what was he hiding? If he loved you, does it matter? It matters to me. If your father lied to you, he must have had a reason. What if his reasons weren't good? Or if you found out that it wasn't, hmm? would that affect your love for him? that change the way you see him? Might change the way I see myself. What do you mean? 
What if I'm my father's daughter? Your daughter? What was her name? Anna. Her name was Anna. Lots of sugar. You'll thank me for it. Look, after you came to see me the other day, I thought it best to... Spy on me? No, just keep an eye out. Make sure you was all right. After I heard the scream coming from your apartment, and I, I decided to move. What I saw. What did you see? I saw you. Just crying your eyes out. And you left your daughter all alone. You didn't see anything else. Or should I? So what now? It all depends on you. You got me at a crossroads, Mrs. Tallett. It's Helen. Helen. I've got a choice to make. I can either do it by the book, which means filing a report with Child Protection Services, or we can talk this out. But talking things out means it works both ways. Where's Heidi? She's fine, she's safe. Look, I'm just trying to be the good guy. Just help me to be the good guy. You can't help me. <sighs> okay, let's say I'm willing to hear you out again, okay? My ears are open. Oh, so now you believe me? I believe. I believe. We don't need ghosts to haunt us. What I'm trying to say is, if there's anything you want to tell me, then now's the time. I think you were right. I'm just tired. My health, you baby. You know what, Mrs. Tullett? If there's one thing we coppers hate more than being lied to, is being told what we want to hear. I think I should just go home. Get some rest. Are you sure there's nothing more I can help you with? Am I free to go? Don't make me regret my choice.
I shouldn't have gone. It was too early to leave you alone with Heidi like that. What's that supposed to mean? The police told me how they found you. You don't trust me with her, do you? How did she get those bruises? Let's leave. Let's start over again. What? You were right. We never should have moved here. We can go anywhere you want. No, 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 no. I, I, I can't leave. Not now. I'm so close. No, this is about us. You, me, and Heidi. My dad killed himself in front of me. How can you blame me for wanting to know why? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm... I can't do this anymore. You're leaving me? That's not what this is. So tell me what it is, Greg. Do you love me? It's not that simple anymore. It is that simple. I'm taking Heidi. Try it. I won't have to. Given your recent behaviour, I think most people would agree that Heidi coming with me would be for the best. Don't you? At 10.40 hours today, I received a fully addressed, handwritten envelope. Upon opening this envelope, I found a handwritten letter inside. The letter, tagged case number 3462, article 17, describes an adolescent female which closely matches the description of Susan Pettifer, reported missing seven days previously. It goes on to allude to details of her abduction. I just wonder how he went from writing a list to buy bread to...
Don't beat yourself up. Guys like your father, they're master manipulators. They, they manipulate us into having as much hate in us as they do. Why don't you get somebody to take you home? I've got a car. You shouldn't have to see this, you know. Maybe I should see this. Maybe it's my cross the bear now. No, it's not. It's mine. You've got a child that needs you. What if I'm not the mother she deserves? How many were there? Look, I shouldn't be sharing this with you. I need to know. The less you know, the better. So my father just goes unpunished now. Unless you believe in hell. of guidance. Is it still on? Of course. So tell me, what does the Bible say about the sins of the Father? It depends on your interpretation. I'm not in the interpreting kind of mood. Only the soul that has sinned shall die. And the Son shall not suffer the iniquity of the Father. The righteousness of the righteous be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked be upon himself. See, I, I was thinking more about the part that says, he shall not clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children, and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. You remember your scripture very well, Ellen. My memory hasn't completely given up on me. I only say that because I wonder why it was that you chose to abandon the teachings of the church. Contradictions aside, there were always a couple of things I could never quite reconcile. Tell me. If God has the power to intervene, how, how can he allow so much pain? and so much evil. I believe our God is a wise God, and in his wisdom, he bestowed upon us free will. Unfortunately for the few, free will is a desire to inflict suffering and commit evil. Am I paying for my own sins or the sins of my father? Helen, your father's part in those crimes does not indicate that you have to follow suit. You knew. I, I, I heard it on the news, those children. No. No. The police haven't said anything about my father. So you knew. And your father came to me in confession for forgiveness. But you gave it to him! I told him he should not just ask for God's forgiveness, but for yours also. Helen! Car 
Jupiter? It's Burroughs. Yeah, I saw the news. I need a favor. I need you to find an address for me. Helen Tullett. And keep me updated on anything that comes in tonight. time it is, I assume you do. I need to speak to my dad, and I need your help to do it. Helen? You know you said that when some people die and they can't get into heaven, it's because they've got unfinished business. Well, it's not an exact science, but yeah, that's, that's what I said, yeah. Well, what if I wanted to speak to him? How would I do it? Find yourself something reflective. It can be a mirror, glass, ice, water, anything. Stare into it, don't do nothing but stare and concentrate on the person you want to see. Stare long enough and hard enough until something appears. existing in a cycle of ongoing pain and torment. Repeating, repeating, repeating. Excited to see Mummy.
lifts of 15 Bolney Avenue. Take Heidi to your mum's and meet me there. Frank? 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 Is that even your real name? I could ask you the same. What are you talking about? We have more in common than you could ever know.
stay silent. I did. But I thought it was best in the time and bury the ones that he left to rot. I thought in vain. as a warning and parents waiting for children who will never come home I could get you I could keep you safe so I give you a new home I give you a new name a new life I do. Calls to Henry and Cabinet today. Abduction. Little girl, six years old. Name's Sasha Bevis. I know the procedure. Just find him this one. Where's Kim and Sam? Second call came from the police when they reported him missing. First call? From the guy who took her. You traced the call? Gave us the address. And get this, both calls came from the same street.
son dug up another one. Six or seven years old. It's too soon to tell, but the rate of decomposition suggests she's been ill a year. It'll take a few weeks. Checklist of dating back 10 to 14 months. Yes, sir. Not that it makes a difference now. There's still no sign of Eli. We haven't found Heidi yet. Just keep checking. Thank you.